Hey everyone, how are you going? I am Chris from Champion Helmets and today I'm going to give you a review of the Shui Neotech 2. Ladies and gentlemen, I have with me today the Shui Neotech 2. This helmet is a top contender in the world of modular helmets. It is one of the best. In my opinion, it is the best. Uh, so yeah, I really like the helmet, but I will stay unbiased throughout the review and give you a nice fair uh, rundown of what it's like. So the Shui Neotech, uh, the original one, came out a few years ago and really made a few waves in the modular helmets world. And that's because it was a great modular helmet and it was something new. It wasn't the best, there were a few downsides uh, which they've really improved with the Neotech too. I'll get into that in another video though. Uh, today we're going to just focus upon the Neotech 2. So it is one of the, the three top modular helmets around, the others being the Age of Esport modular and the Shoeworth C4 Pro. They're slightly different and the Neotech 2 definitely fits in, I think it's number one, but within that range. So as one of the best modular helmets around though, this helmet is going to be priced as one of the most expensive. At 700 US dollars at the recommended retail price, this is not an entry level helmet, but for all that money, you do get one thing from Shui, and that is just quality. They're a brand that has a high focus on quality, and with the Neotech 2, that is immediately obvious. So that quality really begins here with the shell of the helmet, and that's because the shell is made out of fiberglass composite material, and also using Shui's advanced integrated matrix uh, technology. And what that means is they can take that fiberglass uh, composite, sorry, and then they can uh, put it into areas that it needs to be, make them stronger, while they can take it away from areas where it does not need to be. They can be very precise, and they do that to make a stronger but lighter helmet. And I say lighter, but the weight of this helmet is really the major downside, apart from the price. It's, an, it's a real Achilles heel. At 1,750 grams, it is quite heavy. Uh, the C4 Pro from Stuberth is comparable in weight. The AGV Sport Modular is a lot lighter, but that helmet was built to be a bit more sporty with a different purpose. So I think it's justified on the Shui. Uh, and that extra weight has really been given to comfort and a few other things like that, which I'll get into a little bit later. And aerodynamically, the helmet is quite sound. It was designed in a wind tunnel. And, you know, we have a few extra ridges just going around the helmet, and then a little lip at the back. So just this kind of thing helps to keep it a bit more aerodynamic and stable at higher speeds. Plus, it also helps with noise reduction, which is great. It's just another mark of the comfort and quality of the Shui Neotech 2. Now, if we stay with the outside of the helmet, we have the ventilation. The ventilation is controlled by these two uh, vents here. One on the chin bar, it can be opened or closed. And one on the top here, which can be opened, half opened, or closed depending on how you like it. At the back we have two always open uh, rear vents and that's just going to let the air escape when it's hot. So the ventilation is a strong suit of the Shui Neotech 2 and it'll keep you cool. The visor is a little bit uh, different on the Shui Neotech 2. The visor itself is actually quite standard. It's a high-end modular helmet visor, uh, good field of view, it's uh, pinlock prepared, pinlock is in the box but the mechanism is, I think, uh, pretty cool. So you can see that uh, the mechanism has a spring, and this spring is one of the things that helps it to seal into the helmet, uh, the visor, that is. So when you push it down, the spring like uh, locks it and really pushes it to so it seals strongly against the uh, shell of the helmet. That makes uh, a good reduction in wind noise, and it's a cool thing from the Neotech too. I really like that. The visor can also be opened into one of, I think, seven positions. So, cracked all the way up to that. There's a few in the middle. They're relatively strong, but uh, if you go too fast, it can blow back like that, so be careful. Uh, the inside is going to have a drop-down sun visor, and that is controlled via this little slider here. So you just drop that down, push it up. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. No problems with it. The sun visor is pretty good. It's rated to be almost as good as uh, sunglasses in reducing UV re uh, radiation. So 
it's got that going for it. It'll keep you safe from those harmful uh, solar rays and it gives you a nice clear field of vision as well. So the visor is very good and the sun visor is also pretty good. And on the inside of the helmet, we have the uh, liner, which is where you'd expect it to be on the inside. And it's a good liner. It's soft, uh, comfortable. It feels good to wear. It doesn't uh, chafe. And it toes the line pretty well between, between being uh, either warm or cool, depending on how the conditions are and what you want. It's removable, washable, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they have a few different uh, cheek sizes as well for the pads. So you can get a few different things there if your uh, helmet doesn't fit you properly. But to avoid that, uh, Champion Helmets, we offer the Shui uh, Personal Fit Program, and that's where you can give us your information and we'll make a custom uh, inner liner for you. It's a pretty nice feature. But the Mutech 2 has really focused on noise reduction, as I've said a couple times already. And so we have this extra material here, 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 and we have a little wind guard here. And what that stuff does is it reduces uh, the amount of wind that can get in, and then noise pollution, because wind is what makes noise. A lot of the time it whistles and that kind of thing. And so this is, I think, really come from Shui's uh, wind tunnel testing. It's a strong feature of the helmet, and it's so quiet that, you know, I can't really tell the difference between the C4 Pro, the Sport Modular, and the Neotech 2. They're all really quiet. And on the Neotech 2, that quietness is just a real mark of quality. Now, something a little bit controversial about the Neotech 2 is the communication system. And that's because Shui and Senna have made a deal where they designed the Neotech 2 to fit perfectly with the Senna SRL1 communication system. And it does that very well. You can just mount it easily into one of these ports. Uh, and also, the battery pack goes there. There's channels in the liner and that kind of thing. So it's easy to install, easy to use. And that's great if you have a center system, if you want one, it's gonna be super easy and it's gonna work great for you. The problem though is if you don't have one of those systems or you don't want one. So because we have this here, if you want to mount a uh, communication system, you have to do it a little bit higher up, maybe a little bit forward, a little bit back, and that is a bit annoying. So it's a bit more awkward to use and that kind of thing. And a lot of people don't really appreciate uh, just being forced kind of down the center route. Uh, they don't have any problems typically with center from what I've seen. It's mainly just the fact that they don't have as much choice. But the center system can be a bit expensive as well. That's why Champion Helmets, we offer the center system and the Shui Neotech 2 at a reduced uh, product bundle discount price. So we can help you guys out. And that's available at championhelmets.com. So those have been the like the specifications and the facts about the Shui Neotech 2. So let's talk a little bit more generally about the helmet and where it sits. So it is one of the top three modular helmets along with the AGV Sport Modular and the Schubert C4 Pro. The AGV Sport Modular is designed to be a bit more sporty and that's why it's so lightweight and that kind of thing. It's not the same purpose as the uh, Shui Neotech 2. The C4 Pro, however, is quite similar. Similar weight, similar, uh, yeah, similar kind of design, I guess. Uh, similar price even, so they're really competitors there. They also target more the uh, more comfort oriented riders, riders who are uh, touring or cruising, something like that. This is going to be your kind of helmet. And yeah, it's a very quiet helmet, it's very good generally. Uh, I highly recommend it if you have the budget or if you like to tour a lot. Uh, it's a great helmet overall. It is a flip up helmet. So you can flip it up, you can ride with it open. I don't recommend riding too fast with it open uh, because it's going to drag. It's not like a uh, roof box of carbon or something like that where you can put this all the way back. It's going to sit like that and it sits pretty well there. A few downsides of the helmet, expensive, uh, heavy, and also that uh, center system depending on whether you want it or not. So this is the Shui Neotech 2. This has been our review of it and I hope you liked it. If you have an experience with the Neotech 2 uh, or I missed something or you don't like something about it, then leave a comment down below. You can really help another rider make a better informed decision if you do that. And it's something that the community really appreciates. Uh, if you want to see more like this, then subscribe to us at Champion Helmets at YouTube. You can uh, keep up to date with all of our newest content. We're putting out new stuff quite often. 
And otherwise, I'm Chris from Champion Helmets. I'll see you guys next time.